No jaywalking on my watch. There's a new national crackdown underway with police going after all those gadget thieves out there, but it's not in a way that you might expect. Tucson goes down in San Francisco. An undercover cop puts on a bad guy hoodie and asks passers-by if they want to buy a stolen iPhone or iPad. Two other armed undercover officers hang out nearby in case the deal goes bad, and a block away two more officers wait in an unmarked car. When some schmo takes the bait, freeze! He's busted. Five cops take down one iPhone thief. Trying to cut the head of the snake off so that there's no, there's no market to sell the phone. San Francisco PD is big on eye stings, which also yield big arrest numbers in the Big Apple, as well as DC. But critics say it's a slimy and ineffective tactic that hasn't even taken a nibble out of Apple-related crimes. Then again, these stings may actually be a step up from the days when San Francisco cops reportedly staggered around Skid Row pretending to be drunk, dangling cash from their pockets, and busting homeless guys who tried to swipe the moolah. You filming me? You filming me, punk? Maybe it's a good way to pad arrest stats, but come on, don't cops have better things to do? Like how about catching more murderers and rapists? The year after the San Francisco PD admitted they had thousands of unsolved murders and rapes on their hands, the local DA, who was police chief at the time of the revelation, admitted he had forgotten about those unsolved crimes. Well, let's remember those crimes and remember there's no need to trick random people into breaking the law because lots of people have already committed crimes. Go catch them. Follow the show on Twitter, submit your nominees for next month, and check out Deviant Alum, this month's featured follower, and someone you should definitely follow. This is a big shot with Twitter in me. Are you Twitter in me?